as the existence of hybrids attests. The power of the old ones was not immune to the beauty and charms, wit and jest of a human determined to woo. So listen close as night usurps day to these tales from the Bluebell Cafe. It seems tense in here. What's going on? We have something to tell you. Let it be known that I have nothing to tell you. Oh, fine. Yes, I have something to tell you. Clay made it clear that he would not if it were up to him. Did I do something wrong yesterday? It was only my first day. I'm sure with more practice I'll improve. No, no, it's it's nothing like that. It's not about you. It's about me. Oh, okay. What's going on? Asta? Sorry, it's just... It's a big thing. I'm not quite sure how to start. It sounds pretty serious. It is. Well, then, all I can say is thank you for trusting me with whatever it is. <sighs> he just thinks you're a spy. What? A spy? Did you steal a secret recipe from some other cafe or something? <laughs> Oh, I wish. Okay, enough singing to the sailors. What is it? You're right. I want you to know that it could be dangerous for you to hear this information. Like, you could maybe be charged with a crime dangerous. But I really need your help. And I think that if we all work together, everything will turn out okay. But if you don't want to risk it, I won't tell you. <laughs> wow, way to make me want to hear it even more. You don't mind the danger? I already know you're a fugitive from the mortal world. I doubt this new danger would be any worse. And I can keep a secret. If you're sure. Just, please... Hear me out till the end, okay? Of course. Okay. <sighs> My real name is Jules. Jules Manalo Alvarez. As in... Yes. But I didn't do it, I swear. I don't know why, but I've been framed. Clay actually is my brother, and he helped me by bringing me to Parima so he can try to clear my name before the trial. Before my trial. I know it's a lot. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't believe me, but I promise you, I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Wait, really? You do? You don't you don't have any follow-up questions or anything? Of course I do. But I don't need them answered to believe you. You don't? No. I know what kind of place Parima is. The hate against hybrids, the political unrest. It makes more sense for someone to be framing you than for a random barista to somehow be able to kill a queen. When you put it like that, it seems kind of obvious that I didn't do it. Yes, but why would someone want to frame you? Who would even do that? 
I have no idea. That's what we came here to find out. And have you made any progress? Learned anything new? You're asking a lot of questions. Clay? Just because you trust her doesn't mean I have to. One of us has to be cautious. I'm just asking questions to better understand the situation. You don't have to answer them. But I am wondering, why did you tell me in the first place? I feel like Clay has a point. You barely know me. I like to believe the best of people. Even after someone framed you for murder? I think especially so now. I see. So what do you want me to do? What do you mean? Well, you've entrusted me with this deep, dark secret of yours. Why? There must be a reason, otherwise you would have kept it a secret, right? Right. I thought maybe you could help us search for information and maybe be a witness for me? You don't want a hybrid as your witness. It's bad enough that you're a hybrid yourself. I know it's not ideal, but I'd rather have another halfy I trust than a full blood I don't. <laughs> All right, your funeral. Sorry, that might be too literal in this situation. I just mean you've got interesting priorities. You can say that again. I'm happy to help you search for info, but you do have to let me know what you've got so far. Nothing, really. Nothing? I wouldn't say nothing. We've learned that hate against hybrids has increased. We've learned that people are speculating about the case. Our strongest lead so far is that a rebel group trying to usurp the old ones did it. But why would they frame Asta? I mean, Jules. We don't know. We have theories and suspicions, but nothing tangible. How have you been gathering your information? By, um, well, subtly interrogating customers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's no wonder you haven't gotten anywhere. Why would members of a rebel group who framed a barista of Bluebell Cafe go anywhere near another Bluebell Cafe? If I were them, I'd think it was a trap. I... Didn't think of it like that. The plan was never to lure the actual people who framed them here, just to find information from the general public. Sure, maybe they won't come, but everyone loves coffee. Somebody who knows something might stop by. Someone who knows something might stop by? Those are a lot of qualifications. What makes you think they'd come to this cafe anyway? Besides the name, it's new. Most people have established preferences for coffee shops. We put a lot of work into marketing? Look, I hope I'm not overstepping because you asked for my help. And I really do want to help. But this plan, did you really expect it to work? If you want to get information, you have to widen your net. We've got to get out of the cafe to investigate. It's too dangerous. Jules isn't even supposed to be in Parima. If they get caught, it could ruin our chances of clearing their name. Does it matter if we're not even able to clear their name in the first place? Look, there's a festival tonight downtown. It's an annual thing. It's really big. And people come from all over. It would be a great place for secret rendezvous. And I'm sure we'd be more likely to find useful information there than here. Absolutely not. It's too risky. You said that about trusting Irida, and look, she's already helping us. A little too well, maybe. How would you know how a rebel group thinks? It's called imagination. This is serious. 
Jules' life could be in danger. Clay. Jules, you know it. The cafe keeps you safe. The magic is strong. If you step outside, you're not guaranteed any protection. Well, why can't you investigate? You've already been leaving sometimes to follow some leads. Why not follow this one? Because I... I don't trust Irida. What, you think it's a trap? It could be. I could stay here. Jules could watch me. I don't trust you alone with her. Come on, Clay. There's got to be a compromise. We need information, and this is a way we could get some. Look, like I said, the festival is a big thing. I do think there will be people there we could get information from. But the security will be pretty tight, especially after what happened to Titania. I won't do anything, of course, but if I did, there's law enforcement everywhere. I would never get away with it. I really don't think you have anything to lose. I don't know. Clay, if you don't go, I will. Jules. This is important. We need this. If you agree to go, I'll patiently wait here. But if you don't, there's nothing you can do to stop me from going. This is what we came here for, right? Fine. We'll close early today, and Irida and I will go to the festival then. But you better not try anything. I won't. I promise. Right. Whoa. Uh, thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. Jules, too tight. Sorry. I'm just excited. It finally feels like we're getting somewhere. And thank you, Irida. See, all we needed was another brain to figure out the next step. Glad I could help. All right, come on. Right. Time to open up. Irida, can you handle table seven? The drinks are almost done. Just pour them and bring them. Sure thing, boss. I'll handle the register. Great. I don't know how we got so busy. You know a scandal is to business as a goat farm is to a chupacabra. Good. It's good for business. I got that. It just... I just felt like the analogy wasn't really necessary. I agree. Ugh, you guys are no fun. Excuse me. Hi, thanks for waiting. What can I get? Oh, it's you. How are you? I'll be better when I get my mocha. And yourself? Looks like business is booming. Can't complain. Clay? Anya. And who's this? Hi, I'm Irida. Anya, nice to meet you. Same to you. Your mocha's on the house, Anya. Go ahead and take a seat. It'll be right out. How sweet. Thank you, Aster. She looked familiar. Who was that? Anya. Yeah, I got that part. She's a journalist. Who somehow knows, well, everything, seemingly. Interesting. Is she, like, an enemy? Of course not. Would I give free drinks to an enemy? We barely know her. We know that she knows, and we know that she hasn't told anyone, so I think we can trust her. We think she hasn't told anyone. I understand Clay's suspicion. Oh, of course you do. The jury's still out on you too, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll prove I'm trustworthy to you. Just you wait. You can start by actually delivering those drinks I asked you to. Right, okay. 
If she's trying to make herself appear too incompetent to be a spy, it's working. Be nice. You'll give yourself a stroke with all the stress. A what? A stroke. You know, when your brain, um, stops working properly. Why would it do that? I, I don't really know. It must be a human thing. But isn't it suspicious that we now have two people who know our secret? To be fair, I did tell Irida. Or she manipulated you into a confession. Jeez, I know you're a cop and everything, but you need to relax. Not everyone's a criminal. This is good. You said I needed three witnesses, and now we have two potential ones. A journalist and a hybrid. How fortuitous. Okay, rude about the hybrid part, but I get why that wouldn't be great. But are journalists looked down on here or something? No, just by me. Because? They're just so nosy. They ruin the investigation process. They blast confidential details in the media. They look at people as stories instead of people. Very cynical of you. One of us has to be. Okay, what's next? Clay, take these drinks out. Irida, you can work on these drink orders. Don't set the register on fire while I'm gone. No promises. So, what makes you suspicious of Anya? I didn't say I was suspicious of her. Just that I understand why Clay would be suspicious. Do you have an opinion, though? Well, not really. I've only exchanged, like, three words with her. <sighs> What's up? The whole situation is just... overwhelming. And I've told Clay, and myself, that it's better to trust that other people actually do want to help me. But what if I'm wrong? <sighs> what if... What if you and Anya and everyone else are spies who are secretly plotting against me? I swear on my life, I'm not a spy. And I truly do want to help you. Thanks. Although, you might want to repeat that in front of Clay. <laughs> I tried, but it seems it will take more than that to convince him. But aren't swears binding for Faye? For the most part, yeah. But not for hybrids. What? Yeah, that's one reason people distrust us so much. They can never tell when we're being honest. Well, humans live like that all the time. Swears don't mean anything there? I mean, I suppose it does for some people. But there's no magic binding them to it. Ah, huh. I guess that's why we're immune then. The human blood. Are mixed, full magic people not called hybrids too? Oh, no. Just human mixes. Full magic folk are just referred to by their mixes. Like Vampire Sphinx or Mermaid Centaur. Seems a bit unfair. To put it lightly, Oh, I remember why the journalist's face was familiar. Anya? Yes, I saw her at the cafe the day of my interview. I remembered her face because when that whole scene happened, she looked at me kind of sympathetically. At least, there wasn't the disgust, fear, and anger that I saw on other people's faces. Huh. I don't remember seeing her that day. Hmm... I'm sure it was her, though. Maybe she just... decided she didn't want to order anything. Yeah... Maybe...
Episode 5, The Truth, was written, directed, and sound edited by Kiana Triana, with script edits by David Wu and Perry Perry, and music by Tamar Chimenian. This episode featured Kiana Triana as Jules, Frank Zinches as Clay, Faye Holiday as Anya, and Ella Rhee as Irida. If you enjoy our show, please support us by subscribing to us through your preferred podcasting app, following us on social media, or checking out our website. We'll be back next week with a new tale from Bluebell Cafe in Episode 6, The Reveal. Thank you for listening. <laughs>